Henrik, 150 appearances for Brentford. Congratulations, mate. Thank you very much. 150th game. You made it an eventful one, didn't you? With the penalty. <laughs> yeah. I played 150 games and I think this I think this was my first pen. So, um, yeah. <laughs> That's all right. It, in, in my opinion, that wasn't the biggest pen in the world, so that's all right. I didn't want to get you in any trouble, mate, but looking at it, that seems soft to say the least. Did you feel any contact at all? Uh, I, I did, but I was just standing behind him. So as he went to kick, he just hit my shin pad. So I wasn't even trying to trip him or get the ball or anything. I knew I couldn't do anything. So, so he, just, he just kicked back and hit me and went down. And then, uh, yeah, the ref, the ref gave it straight away. So What did the ref say to you? Does he say... Oh, you initiated contact. Like what? There was not even a shadow of a doubt from him. He just saw it as a pen, and he, you didn't want to argue with him. So, luckily, we had some quality up front, and we we turned the the game around. Like I say, 150 appearances in what three and a half seasons. Then you stick on top internationals. You've been to a <laughs> World Cup. You must be the fittest man on the planet at the moment. Well, what's your secret, mate? Honestly. I don't know. I just, I just, my body just feels good at the moment, and um, obviously, I do try to be as professional as I can. Um, lately, or yeah, the, actually, since I came to Brentford, I'm trying to, to to go more into like the plant-based diet and not have as much meat um, as as I used to. And I don't know if that's the secret, but uh, it's 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 working for me. That and uh, lots of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> How come you went to that plant-based diet? Was it, I know the, the classic is, I watched Game Changers on Netflix. Was, was it from that or? It started with, I, I felt it was tricky for me to like find a consistent level of, of, of energy. And uh, then my wife uh, said, now you just let me take care of your diet. Uh, and she started like giving me more beans and lentils and stuff like that and it's just uh, that's just what we kept doing and it, it's it seemed to be working quite 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 well for me and my, my body reacts quite well to it so that's just i'm not saying that's the that's the yeah the whole secret and uh, i have meat every now and again so it's, it's not like i'm completely vegan or anything but i just cut down a lot on meat and uh, yeah it's helping me also the fitness test at the start of the season this is what i want to get onto. Because I've heard that you're pretty, you're up there on most of them, aren't you? Yeah, I used, I, I normally have a have a good fight with uh, with Rico and, and and Christian. So uh, we we're normally up there. We we kind of chase each other and, and and yeah, try to get the best of each other. What's the big one? Is it the one K? Is the one that everyone wants? Because when Saman joined, I was there the day, and he was like, "I've heard about the one K. I need to try and get on the one K time." Yeah. So what what, what we have to do is uh, you have two poles. Uh, and then you, it's 100 meter between them. Then you just do uh, 1K basically. So you have to go around the pole. Uh, and then we have like specific times we need to get into. Um, and we have to get sub 315, I think. So me and Christian, I think our records are 308. And I think it, it's roughly the same for, for, for Rico. So it's, it's, it's a good test. It's a, it's a very tough one. Uh, after the last one we did, I, uh, I didn't get back into training because my, my, my body just died on me. Uh, I was throwing up on the, on the ground, so that, that was it for me. And I'm not, I'm not saying anything about Christian, but I wouldn't have him down as a sprinter. No, but this is more like consistent high speed running. It's not, it's not sprinting, so if you can just keep running like at a high pace, that's, that's what you want to do. And yeah. He's good at that. And your position, I think, especially as a fullback, it's got to be one of the toughest and most physically demanding positions because a bit like that 1K, you're just up and down constantly. You've played in a few roles over your, the course of your career. Which do you think is the most physically demanding? I think, I think it's very, it, it is very physical because you almost always have to play 90 minutes, whereas it might be harder to play uh, as a winger because you do more... You do more pressing and high-speed running, but then often you are taken off after 70, 75 or 80. Uh, so you, you don't get up to as many uh, sprints and kilometers as, as a fullback. You kind of expect the fullback to always play 90 minutes. That's, that's what makes it so hard. Do you love that? You know, pretty much, unless you have an absolute whiffer, which is unlikely for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I, I, I like it. I, I used to, when I, especially when I was younger, I really loved 
to get into those last 15 minutes because I knew my opponent would be dead by now. So <laughs> that's when I could really kill him. <laughs> and look, looking back at the four seasons at the club, a lot's changed even in that four seasons. Personnel, expectations, stadium. Where? What are the similarities and differences in the four squads? Would you say we have always had a, a talented squad? Even when I, when even when I came came to England, it was it was it was a good squad. We were just very, I would say, inconsistent. We 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 at our at our highest level, we were like top of the league. But that's what I think we've we've gotten like that uh, defensive foundation where we just know what we can rely on, and um, yeah, we just. We've brought in more, can you say, uh, experienced, more mature players who is like more willing to work hard, uh, who knows what it takes and not not just play two good games out of four. We need to perform four out of four. Um, so I think that's been the that's been the biggest difference. And um, yeah, especially our training. Uh, we, we work so hard in training every day, whereas before it, it used to be sometimes we just like switch off and just go have fun. Now we all, when we compete, we compete. We want to we wanna win and then we can be friends afterwards. But if I need to tackle Christian, and you can ask Christian, that happens a lot of times, but we're still good friends out, outside of the pitch because we want to win. And do you think you've changed much in those four, four seasons? Uh, I think my, my role has changed a bit. Uh, I used to be like very attacking, but uh, with Rico coming back and Rico being so good at like just going forward, uh, I think my main role is like the rest defending and like make sure we have the balance of the team. So Rico can basically just go when, whenever he wants. So it, it's it's my role to to be the one who like looks around the pitch and see if we're all right. If we lose the ball, when we lose the ball, just be ready to smash them again. And, that's, and you've also taken the armband on numerous occasions, even more so this season. Does that affect your game? It it might have just in the, in the especially in the first games. It would maybe take a little bit uh, more energy from me because you know it's a it's a special occasion. So, but but lately, uh, I would say I just try to play my do 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 as I normally do and uh, not let it affect me. Um, I have to scream a little bit more of the, at, at, at the refs, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> I was going to say, you don't strike me as someone that minds doing that. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> in that kind of the leaders in, in the squad, yourself, Christian, Pontus, I imagine Winston now coming in. I was chatting to Christian the other day about maybe you never know him and Pontus as a maybe management duo one day. Um, is that something, I know you, you're only 31, you've got a while to go. Is management something that appeals to you? Um, it's funny you're saying it because no, not at all. I might, I might, I might manage my my son's soccer team, football team when he's uh, when he wants to start playing football. But I think when I'm when I'm done with football, I'm I'm, I'm done. Um, then I don't want to be in like a, a professional environment. But um, never say never. Um, but but right now when I'm done, I think I'm just fed up with it. It's not. Uh, it can be it, it can be such a great world to be in, but it can also be uh, a cruel world. Uh, will you become like a football fan? And are, are you a football fan? Do you have like a club and stuff? No, not, not really. But again, obviously, I will I will be taking my kids to the stadium and and, and enjoy the the occasional football game. Uh, what uh, I would say is, before playing pro, I um, and I never went to see like a national game. And that is definitely something I will I will do after have, having experienced it myself, and and that that whole feeling around it. Uh, I would definitely take my kids to to like the the national games. That would be a that would be a big big thing for me afterwards. That would be pretty special as well to be like yeah. I played. I, that was me. Yeah, that, exactly. Exactly. Uh, before you go, mate, I'm going to stick you on the spot here. Four seasons, 150 appearances. Who's the best player you played with in those appearances? I didn't warn you about this one. Oh, that's a good question. Obviously, you have the the, the special, unique talent like 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 Said, but because he could do something magical just out of nothing. But, but I'm that's the way I play as well. But I love like consistency. So I I'm, I have to say the way Christian played last season, for example. I just that that's. 
think that's more important for me to have someone you can rely on every single time than to have a player like Said who can create a little bit of magic here and there. I love consistency. I know we have that. You need to have that sprinkle, that spark sometimes, but consistency is key for me. Rico last season and this season as well. It's it's it's, it's just been that's that's what I love to see. Well, it goes back to what you were saying earlier, I guess, about what we do better now and and how, yeah. the, how the squads have evolved. Um, Henrik, top man, I really appreciate your time, and uh, yeah, it's going to be exciting into the season. So thanks for your time. You're welcome.